everyone so today i'm going to show you a trick with which you can solve any of these kind of simultaneous equations in fact any simultaneous equations literally orally okay and this trick is going to be like super super helpful for anyone who is preparing for any kind of entrances also if you all are preparing for your boards this trick will help you to find or to get to the right answer in matter of seconds okay so this is going to be like super helpful for everyone okay so like always we'll start with the easier ones where you have plus okay then we'll go to the minuses and then plus minus and don't forget every time in simultaneous you do not have answers in proper integers okay so sometimes you might have answers in fractions as well so i'm going to cover that scenario as well okay so let's start in this entire uh, process this particular number is of super importance why because you will always you will always start from this number okay so now first we'll find the value of x what we'll do is we'll cross multiply so 4 into 7 gets you 28 and then we'll put a minus sign and then we again do a cross multiplication which is what 8 into 3 that gets you 24 now next thing is to divide and again we'll do a cross multiplication but like i said this number is going to be of super importance so we'll start from this one which is 4 into 2 that gets you 8 minus 2 into 3 that gets you what 6 so 28 minus 24 gets you 4 and 8 minus 6 gets you 2 and when you divide 4 by 2 your answer is coming out to be what 2 okay so please understand in this method you can find the value of x now i can also show you how to find value of y but that is again getting complicated so it is better that you always you remember this particular step of how to find your x and then from x you can substitute your x in any of the given equation and find your y so here let's substitute over here so 2 instead of x we will write what 2 so 2 into 2 gets you 4 Plus three y is equals to seven. Okay, so now three y will be what seven minus four, which is coming out to be three. So now cancelling on both sides, I can say y value is nothing but one. Also, students, literally after finding, so in fact, simultaneous equations is one of my favorite topic because after finding your answers, you can re-substitute. in the second equation and check whether your answers what you're getting is right or wrong okay so here let's substitute over here so we will put x as 2 so 2 into 2 gets you 4 and 4 into y which is what 1 so 4 into y sorry 4 into 1 gets gets you 4 so 4 plus 4 gets you 8 so i can say that both of my values are absolutely correct okay now like i said we will do one more of this particular type but here you might get an answer in the form of a negative number like i said simultaneous equations normally you get answers in positive or negative basically in terms of integers sometimes you also get answers in the form of fractions so we are going to cover that scenario as well okay so over here like i said before going ahead please go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can solve using the trick shown okay so here again like i said this number is going to be of supreme importance to us so we will say x value is 2 into 8 gets you 16 4 into 2 gets you 8 we'll put a minus sign always remember you're putting a minus sign between the two values okay then again we'll do 2 into 5 gets you 10 minus 4 into sorry 2 into 4 gets you 8 so 16 minus 8 gets you what Eight divided by ten minus two gets you two. So your answer is coming out to be four. Okay. Now, like I said, we'll substitute in any of the equations. So we'll substitute here. Let's try that. So here instead of x, we'll put a four. So two into four gets you eight plus two y is equals to two. Okay. Now you will shift your eight on this side, so you will get two y is equals to two minus eight, which is coming out to be minus six. Okay, so here I can say when you divide both the sides by two, my answer is coming out to be minus 
3. So, here we are getting x value as what? 4 and y value as minus 3. Let us substitute in this particular equation. So, you will get 5 into 4 that is coming out to be 20. 4 into minus 3 that is coming out to be minus 12. Okay, and that is coming out to be 8 which is the answer over here. So, I can say both of my values are absolutely correct. Okay, so I hope you are getting the hang of doing these kind of simultaneous equations. Now, I would request all of you all that you can take a pause and do this one. Or you can continue and we will see how to do when there is a negative sign on both the equations. Okay, so here again we will do this one right so x is equals to now whenever you don't have any coefficient it is obvious that it has a coefficient of 1 so minus 1 into 11 gets you minus 11 now there is a minus sign which we already already always put between the two calculations now we have what 9 into minus 3 that gets you minus 27 okay then we have minus 1 into minus 5 sorry minus 1 into 5 gets you minus 5 there is a minus sign and then we write 3 into minus 3 that is you minus 9. So now this comes out to be minus 11 plus 27 upon minus 5 plus 9. Okay. So now when you subtract you get 16 and minus 5 plus 9 gets you plus 4. So the value of x is coming out to be just 4. Okay. For those who get a bit stuck about how to do uh, integer calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, there is a separate video on that. A lot of people have loved that video. I would put up a link of that video at the end of the video, at the end of this particular video or somewhere on the top. Please go ahead and check it out. Okay. So now, like I said, your value of y. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put in one of the equations. So let's put it over here. So, 3 into 4 gets you what? 12. This gets you 12 minus y is equals to 9. Okay. So, basically, I can say y minus y is nothing but what? 9 minus 12. I'm shifting this 12 on the other side. So, therefore, I can say minus y is equals to minus 3. Therefore, y is equals to 3. Now, like always, we will again check whatever answer we've got is correct or not okay so y value is what 3 so 3 into 3 and 5 into 4 so 5 into 4 that's coming out to be 20 minus 9 that is coming out to be 11 so i can say both of these values are absolutely correct okay so now like i said um, let's do this one so now why am i doing this one is because you know not every time here if everywhere the constants are little bit smaller okay but sometimes what happens is you might get constants which are a bit on the higher side then what happens okay so here again we will try to find out our x so your x is nothing but what minus 2 into 23 that gets you what minus 46 minus 1 into 17 okay so that is getting you minus 17 Sorry, that's 1 into 17 that gets you 17 and this is the minus sign between the two values, okay. Now, next is what? Basically, we will do minus 2 into 3 that gets you minus 6. Minus sign again and then we do 3 into 1 gets you 3. So, now this is coming out to be what? 63, minus 63 upon minus 9. So, I can say therefore x value is what? Minus minus cancels, 9 ones are and 7s are so you will say x value is 7 okay we can substitute in any of the equation let's substitute over here so what you get is 7 into 3 gets you or 21 plus y is equals to 23 so when you shift your 21 on this side i can say y is nothing but what 2 okay now again if you want to cross verify you put 7 in place of x so you get 3 x 3 into 7 that gets you 21 minus 2 into 2 that gets you 4 so 21 minus 4 gets you 17 so i will say both of these values are absolutely fine so now we'll come to this one okay so 
what happens so here i'm telling you from beforehand this is one equation where you will get an answer as a fraction so what you do in that case okay you don't have to worry at all it's absolutely simple so here again x minus 2 into 7 gets you minus 14 then we put a minus sign then minus 2 into 3 gets you minus 6 and this is what minus 2 into 3 gets you minus 6 and then with the minus sign and then 6 into 3 gets you what 18 okay so here what you do is minus 14 plus 6 upon minus 24 okay so basically you get minus 8 upon minus 24 so cancelling you will get 1 upon 3 as your answer for x okay so now what you do let's put it over here it's so much easier right 3 into 1 upon 3 gets you what just 1 and 3 y we'll just keep it as it is and then there is a 7 so we have basically 1 plus 3 y is equal to 7 so I'll shift this 1 on this side so 3 y is equal to 6 okay so now I can say dividing both sides by 3 y is equal to just 2 now when you substitute you will see that this is actually sufficing okay so I hope you are getting the hang of doing this particular simultaneous equations literally orally I have also made a separate video on that but in that I was explaining how to find the y value as well later on I realized a lot of students got stuck that okay what was when when to do what so it is best that you find the x value substitute it in your one of the equations and find the y value and then you are done okay so now uh, yeah this will be your DIY quickly tell me what will be the answer of x and what will be the answer of y in your comment section so that's it for today I will see you in the next video